I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel and here's another video where we look at the rear view from the camera that was mounted underneath the saddle or as I call it the rear gunner's view and today we were cycling to Garstang this was filmed earlier on in 2019 And you join us now just on the outskirts of Edgeworth, which is between Berry and Bolton. And straight away, look at them shots. They really are great shots. You can see Steve's Pinarello, Owen's got his S-Works there, and Mike's just at the back, and he too is on an S-Works. We're making our way down this little hill here, and there's a really nasty right-hand bend, or we'll be going left, looking at this shot, where the camber can be quite tricky. You can see there we all cut in. Now on the right there's a car that's missed the turn in there. Ouch. And there's Steve very close to me there and he's almost in the gutter. And here we are now on this next clip on the way towards Blackburn and Pleasington. So I'm just coming through on a nice long downhill stretch and I probably get a gap of about 40 metres. But if you watch what the guys are doing here, they're just keeping me there and then almost effortlessly they'll just bridge that gap. I'm on my hybrid today and that bike takes a lot of work just to keep it moving at pace and it's not designed for performance really. And with the guys on their bikes, look, it just effortlessly come through. Actually, just looking at Mike's bike, let's just stop and rewind that clip. He's got odd wheels on. And since this video, Mike has replaced the wheels with some really nice ones. But here comes Steve, just catching right up, very close again. And it's time to find out which way to go next. And having cycled all around these parts, we do know our way quite well around the northwest of the United Kingdom. But this next shot, it's one that you need to get with that bridge as a great backdrop. But that speck of water on the lens has really spoiled it. So you can't really use it as much as you'd like to do. But sometimes making these films, you know, these things happen. Now this next section of road from memory was a really good bit of road. We were slightly downhill and the wind was just coming from behind so it was in our favour. And we really got the pace ramped up. At the moment here we're cruising at around 25 to 28 miles per hour. You can see there Owen's free wheeling. The two guys are ahead of me, Owen's at the back. And then shortly afterwards, I start to just ramp the pace up, but I put a big effort in here, and look at the gap I've got there. That's quickly grown. Again, I always stress, we're not racing, but when it feels like it can be fast, let's see how fast we can go. And just past them two joggers there. But look at that there, the freewheeling, drafting, and they've just bridged me right back. This was a great little bit of road, and riding down here at this pace, it's just a really good feeling. Got that van behind us, we have to be mindful of the van, he gets by very safely. And sometimes this shot, I would call this like the mid-gunner shot, where you can get angles from all sides. Again, just taking that bend there, nice left-hander. Sometimes doing this, it just gives you a different dimension to the video. And after a quick cup of coffee, it was time to hit the road again. 
and this video is available on my channel if you want to watch it and it was aptly named cycling to a cafe in Garstang. I'm moving forward quite a bit here we're on the return leg and looking at the road this looks like Accrington and we've got a car just about to pull out there on the side but luckily the driver waited there and obviously had a good view of us and we're on a slight downhill section here and very quickly we go under the arches there Steve's just signaling we're going to go left that's a nice little exit there just making sure we're all on and here we are now on the final descent of the day where we reached our highest speed which is around 47 miles per hour I think we've got Mike just behind me then we've got Steve and Owen just right at the back look at the daffodils on the road it'll soon be spring as well so we can't wait for the 2020 season to really kick start we've had some pretty atrocious weather recently so here we are on the plateau and just after that house there it starts to drop down the pace will significantly increase here Mike's got a right good line right behind me there just freewheeling he'll be benefiting from the drafting effect here at the moment I will still be pedalling he's having a good look over both ways there and here comes Steve on the outside and I think he's about to light the road up Owen's over Mike's shoulder, he's having a look look at the trees whizzing by there we're doing around 44 to 45 miles per hour here and it can get a lot quicker look at Mike's cadence when he starts to pedal I think he's got a 53.11 on there still holding some nice pace safe behind there's no cars I'm coming through Steve's got his tongue out Steve goes full gas everywhere and when there's nothing left he always finds a bit more in the tank so this phase now of the descent is a kind of recovery section this and it also becomes a residential area so we've got to be careful here but we are looking forward to the big corner as we drop into Norden it's always a nice feeling to hit that as fast as you dare and again we're not racing so at this section here we will be doing around 30 miles per hour just obeying the speed restrictions and then it does start to drop on this bit quite a lot and we've got a really nice right hander coming up I always like to clip on the inside of the apex and just exit slightly wide here it is now just coming up there we go just cut across and go wide on the exit and this can be a pretty fast section so there you have it that was the final descent of the day the A680 and one of my favorite ones in the area so that concludes a 90 mile loop that we covered today and that was another video in this current series of the rear gunners view anyway if you like these videos let me know and I'll continue making them for you and thank you for watching.